こんにちはです。今回ちょっと面白い動画をね、YouTube で見つけたので、これを使って動画を作っていこうと思うんですけれども、イギリスの議会で、イギリス人の議員同士のコミュニケーションの中で、片方のアクセントが強すぎて、もう片方が何言ってるかわからないっていう、結構カオスな状態の動画なんですけれども、もしかしたら有名なので見たことある人もいるかもしれないんですが、まずちょっとこの様子をご覧ください。Can I ask the honourable gentleman what work is being done to make sure that this place is more accessible, particularly for some of our colleagues who have a disability? Here, here. I'm sorry, it must be something to do with my antipodean background. Could he please repeat the question because I didn't follow it? <laughs> well, very popular today.、Um, I, I'm saying that a number of parliamentary colleagues who have disabilities do find it quite difficult getting around certain parts of the state. Given that we're doing this refurbishment work, what can be done to make sure that those with a disability are, are able to move around more freely and the place is accessible? I'm really sorry. Please, could you do it very slowly in an intimidating、oh, no. English? Thank you. では次に字幕付きでこちら動画流しますのでこれ理解できるかチェックしてみてくださいどうぞ。Can I ask the honourable gentleman what work is being done to make sure that this place is more accessible, particularly for some of our colleagues who have a disability? Here, here. I'm sorry, it must be something to do with my antipodean background. Could he please repeat the question because I didn't follow it? <laughs> well. Very popular today.、Um, I, I'm saying that a number of parliamentary colleagues who have disabilities do find it quite difficult getting around certain parts of the state. Given that we're doing this refurbishment work, what can be done to make sure that those with a disability are, are able to move around more freely and the place is accessible? I'm really sorry. Please, could you do it very slowly in an intimidating English? Thank you. Just give me the old answer. I'll, I'll take the answer. I think the answer might be helped if you can reply in writing. はい、ということでいかがだったでしょうかこれ 100% 聞き取れたって人いますかね、私は正直無理です。で、私だったらそうですね、大体全体の分かったのは7割ぐらいっていうところで、でも3割やっぱり分かってないと、これに対する返答はできないなっていう感じでした。皆さんはどうでしたね、もしよかったらコメント欄で何割ぐらい聞き取れましたね、ここは聞き取れなかったみたいなのを教えていただくと、まあ、どういったところがみんなも難しいと思うのかなって分かるのでぜひ教えてくださいでこれコメント欄を見ると結構面白くて例えば「When you're not even British but you understand him perfectly、ね」「ブリティッシュでもないけどもう完璧に理解できる」ね「面白いね」とか「His accent isn't even that thick」とか、ね、結構、ね、彼のアクセントは強くないよとかですねあの彼のアクセントそんなに難しいみたいなコメントが結構多くて。いやなんかめちゃくちゃレベル高いなっていうふうに、えー、思いました。このコメント欄を見るとね。で結構、その第二言語として、私は英語を学んでるけれども、彼の英語は完璧に理解できるみたいな人が多くてですね、本当かよっていう感じなんですけれども、ちょっと私的には7割、いっても8割、2回ぐらい聞いても8割とかなんじゃないかなっていう、完璧に理解するっていうのは難しいんじゃないかなって思いました。で今回これ理解できなかったっていうふうに言っている議員の方はですねこちらニュージーランド出身の方なんですねでニュージーランドで生まれただけじゃなくてニュージーランドで生まれ育った方で大学もニュージーランドの大学行っているみたいなのでやっぱりそういったバックグラウンドのせいで自分でも言ってましたけれどもバックグラウンドのせいで理解できなかったっていうのがあるかもしれないんですけれども実際じゃあイギリスのそのいわゆるバリバリのイギリス出身の人とかまあ、それからまあイングランド出身の人っていうのは、まあ、これを理解できるのかっていうのもちょっと気になったので今回はいつもお世話になっているキャンブリーのねイギリス人の先生にですねこちらの英語を聞いていただいてこれが理解できるかっていうのもちょっとチェックしてみましたのでこちらの様子もご覧ください。So I found a、um, like really interesting video on YouTube where、like、two parliamentary members were、uh, having a discussion but One party had a very strong accent,、mm -hmm. and because of that, the other party didn't understand.、Mm -hmm. So, I want you to have a watch of this video and let me know if you can actually understand him, first of all.、Mm -hmm. So, you, you, you're from England. I am. All right. Hang on a minute.、Mm -hmm. All right, right.、Um, mm -hmm. So, I, I would say actually, I can understand all of it.、Uh, you can. Yes, I can understand everything.、Um, I, I think. 
if I were in a kind of noisy environment and I had to listen to somebody talk like this and there was some background noise going on, maybe I would really have to concentrate to, to understand it. Um, but I think in this case, he's standing in the middle of the parliament and everybody is very quiet and listening to him. So I really have no idea why this guy cannot understand him. Mm, mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the, the the other MP. I don't really know him, but he sounds more like Southern. So probably he comes from a, around London. And I don't know why he wouldn't be able to understand kind of Northern accent or. Scottish oh, you mean accent. you mean the guy who couldn't understand him? Right. Yeah. So the other MP, he's like very English or like probably like Southern English. Mm. Right? But obviously he's from New Zealand. So oh. do you, so he oh, said. Wait. Who's from New Zealand? The the other MP. Yeah, the other MP who couldn't understand it. Oh, really? He didn't sound yes. like it at all. Oh, he wow. didn't sound oh, like okay. it. <laughs> ah, because it it says it says British parliamentarian. Ah, New Zealand born Tory MP. Ah, that makes more sense. Okay. All right. Mm. No, so uh when I was listening to him, it, it mm. sounds like he's been in the UK for quite a long time. I didn't really notice that he had such a Kiwi accent. I didn't I didn't pick up on it. So um, mm -hmm. But um, yeah, in that in that case, maybe yeah, he's kind of forgiven that he wouldn't be able to understand it. Right? Mm. So you'd say like every British person would be able to understand his English. Um, I I think it depends on the person. Okay, to be honest, I've got a little bit of an advantage because I actually come from a Scottish family historically. Um, I don't I don't have many relatives that speak like this strong. Uh, Scottish accent anymore um, mm. but yeah I think for people growing up in the UK and they're exposed to British media I think that it's uh, common that you would encounter these accents right mm. maybe not in your everyday life but if you're watching some TV or something like this you will definitely hear a Scottish accent and it might be a little bit challenging for you but you kind of just get over it I think mm. yeah. but maybe for somebody yeah, like this guy, he, he grew up in New Zealand. Um, yeah. Maybe he doesn't have the same exposure, even if he's mm -hmm. lived in the UK for kind of a longer period. I think the, the Scottish MP that's talking, I would say, mm -hmm. considering that he is a, an MP, his accent mm -hmm. is still quite strong. I think that if I were talking in a hall such as this, maybe I would like try to like choose a more neutral accent. But at the same time, maybe he's Scottish. Maybe he doesn't want to. He's like, oh, this is the way I speak. Get over mm. it. Um, which, right. I, which I also kind of respect as well. So. Mm -hmm. Would you say his accent is strong, like from the point of view of like Scottish accent or like mm -hmm. within the realm of Scottish accent, like would you consider his accent to be strong or kind of like a neutral, like from the perspective of Scottish accent, if that makes sense. Um, I've I've heard I've heard stronger accents than this. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so it's um, not that bad. Yes, right. Mm. Yeah, but he's he's very typically Scottish. But actually, if you're listening to the words that he's saying, he is very articulated and obviously is intelligent. So there were some parts that I didn't under, that I didn't understand personally that I want to pick a brain about. Mm -hmm. So right. um, did he actually say certain? Like, how did he pronounce the word certain? Okay, can I listen to it again? Yep. I, I was saying that a number of parliamentary colleagues who have disabilities do find it quite difficult getting around certain parts of the state. Right, right, right. I, I understand what you mean. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, you're, so you think he's pronouncing it in a kind of different way? Yep, the word certain. So certain, but he's saying it more like certain. Uh, certain. Certain. So in, uh, yeah, it, it, this is quite typical of, British accents in general, like that glottal mm -hmm. stop was like a certain. Um, mm -hmm. So even English people would do this sometimes. But mm -hmm. I think in so yeah, Scottish accent, Scottish dialect, it's more common, like Sutton. Sutton. Right. <laughs> it's really short as well, the vowel. Yes, right. It is. Yeah. Certain. Mm. I think the same can be said to uh, work as well. I think he said what work, work is being yeah. done or something like mm -hmm, that. But mm -hmm. 
You probably pronounce it a bit differently. Right, right. はい、ということで、やっぱりね、イギリス出身の方はしっかりと理解できるみたいですね。なんで、違う国で英語圏ってなると、ちょっとその差が生まれてしまって、なかなか理解できないのかもしれません。はい、ということで、いかがだったでしょうか。今回はイギリスの議会で、イギリス人の議員同士のやりとりなのに、片方が片方のことを理解できないという動画でした。なかなか日本ではこういうことを、ね、ないと思うので、結構面白い動画あったんじゃないかなと。いうふうに思いますではまた次の動画でお会いしましょうバイバイ